Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest of the Stars. This is your host, River Foxen, and as usual, we are going to move on. So I believe where we left off, we were at the entrance to a dungeon, our first dungeon. So let's uh, see what we can do here. Just look at this place. It must be crawling with monsters, which means it's time for... Ta-da! Introducing my trusty x-ray goggles. With these bad boys, I can see right into the temple. My daddy received them from the very first Questocrat, I'll have you know. Now let's see. Hmm, seems the altar's on the second floor. And there's the sigil in the same room, of the same one from the cover of the Questocrat's Chronicle. Let's go and take a closer look. If you want to find out more about a dungeon, tap Details. You can look up which monsters live there, the treasure you can get your hands on. It's all there. Each floor of a dungeon has missions to complete. And it's worth your while to do so because special rewards are up for grabs. Alright, that's enough dilly-dallying. Let's head on in. Alright. So, we're gonna go and do this one. Who are we taking? Hmm. Why not? Okay. Is there any food? I have no food. So let's hit OK. And embark. No, oh, it's a side scrolling this time. Kind of reminds me of Darkest Dungeon, but, you know, less ominous. Hmm. Slimes are defeated. That was easy enough. If we come across pots or barrels, we can tap to break them. Chocolate scrap. Gives you kind of, I guess, a reason to pay attention. Ooh, it's a skeleton. Mm, right. It's a boss monster! Be careful! The boss is about to let fly with a powerful skill attack. When the gauge fills up, watch out. Finish the blighter off with a skill attack. Score a flashy, skillful finish to win rewards. found something. Alright, got some experience. We got a cloth cap. And we got all the targets. Alright, so first, let's look at the equipment that I just got. So I'm going to give somebody the cloth cap. Alright. And then let's go back to the dungeon. So we have to go to level 2. Alright. We still want to do a skillful finish, clear the quest without using items, clear the quest without dying. Alright. Well then, let us begin. Let's see, who are we taking? Hmm.
Alright. Slimes! And a Trekkie. Chocolate scrap. No. Another Trekkie into slime. appears restless armor all right let's get rid of these slimes first and now let's focus on the main guy I'm trying to wait so all right Go for finish, all right. Looks like we got some good stuff. I now declare this temple officially monster-free. You guys can really handle yourselves in a scrap. Look over there, it's the altar, and the sigil matches the one on the book. See what happens when you stand over there, Riveria? Well, can you feel anything? Huh? The sigils? They're glowing. Ah, kin of my kin, long have I waited your arrival. Well, where's that voice coming from? I am Gaius, renowned questocrat, explorer of the stars and beyond. No way, you're a questocrat? Not just any questocrat, THE questocrat. Pull the other one! Why don't you just come on out from wherever it is you're hiding? Gladly, but first I must transfer myself from the altar to the questocrat's chronicle. Transfer yourself? What are you talking about? Whoa! There, that's better. How did you fit inside that book? Old men aren't supposed to be that supple. Well, I am the Questocrat, you know. No feat is beyond me. Give over. The Questocrat is young and handsome. Everybody knows that. Slurp. I am no imposter, I assure you. Why, these three will vouch for that. They're my grandchildren. You've got to be kidding me. He's telling the truth, you say? Are you planning on keeping this information to yourselves? Most normal people would at least say hello to their own grandpa. Hark my words. Though I may appear before you, in reality my physical form is far, far away. The power of the sigil allows me to transmit my life force across the vastness of space. My image is a mere projection, but we may communicate nonetheless. It was my initial intention to connect directly to that book, but I made a mistake. By the time I realized what had happened, it was too late. My life force had entered the altar. Ah, so that's why you had to transfer yourself just now. Precisely. And now that the transfer is complete, the Questocrat's Chronicle can be opened. In all honesty, I feared you may never come. Had you not arrived, I sh would surely have been trapped within the altar sigil for all eternity. 
But those fears have been allayed. Now we may communicate at any time via the Questocrats Chronicle. Any time? And here I was hoping we'd be going our separate ways. Fiddlesticks. Slur. Tell me, my scions, how did you fare in the battle? I beg your pardon? You know not of what battle I speak? But you took part in it. How could knowledge of its conclusion have evaded you? Y you say you have no recollection of any battle? Surely you jest. No, you speak the truth. The look in your eyes tells me so. What could possibly have transpired while I was trapped within the altar? Let me think. Mm -hmm. If that were to happen, then... Mm -hmm. My word! If my hypothesis is correct, this planet is in grave danger! Then again, this is the most... This is most welcome. No true adventure is without its fair share of peril. Ha! <laughs> Sat! Trust the old guy to start rambling on! I am not old. I'm only 77, I'll have you know. Are you listening to yourself? Slurp, slurp, slurp. Anyway, you mentioned a battle before. Care to explain? Do you truly wish to know? Of course I do. We all do. Very well. Listen carefully, blood of my blood. If it is the truth you seek, you must first dispel the dark forces that threaten Inish Isle. Then, and only then, will I tell you of that fated battle. Dark forces? That sounds bad. Really bad. However, you must first understand star sight, the power to see from the perspective of the stars. This power slumbers within all of our line, you included. I'll teach you how to awaken it. Do you see the pointer? Observe what happens when you slide that magnifier. Whoa! But limited to geostationary orbits, we are not. Try rotating the entire planet from right to left. Alright. Excellent. Now try going in the other direction, from left to right. Oh, that's come out wonderfully. Alright, next, let's take a closer look at the surface. Do you see that twinkling spot down there? Tap it. Oh, rare discovery. If you hunt places like that out over the whole planet, you can find lots of useful things. And with time, more twinkles will appear. It is a power you'll want to make sure, uh, make use of to help you in your quest. Should you wish to focus on your current location, simply tap here. Now you must scour the planet for places where evil lurks. If you see a question mark, tap on it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that looks pretty evil. Even though that castle is far away, through the power of starsight you are able to see it. Across the planet, insipid incidents are on the increase, Worrying, worryingly so. That doesn't bode well. Which is why I must confer upon you. Actually, that can wait. You have enough on your plate with the resurgent evil. Ah, oh, the thrill of adventure. I imagine my young kin must be veritably champing at the bit to begin their quest. This sword I bequeath to you. I hope it will serve you well as it once did me. You got Meteorite Sword. The fate of the planet is in your hands, my heirs. May you grow stronger with each passing day. And there he goes, back in the book. He's a bit of a know-it-all. Still, he definitely knows something about that battle. But before he'll tell us, we need to find out what's putting this island in danger. Speaking of which, I've heard concern of concerned locals gathering at the Petrol Head Chapel. Perhaps these dark forces could be behind it. We should go there and find out. No, oh, we just warped. 
By the way, did you know you can use the zoom spell to return to places you've been? And on that note, I think we should make a move. So it wants me to go to the new location. But we are going to do that next time. So if you enjoyed this Let's Play, be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell icon if you're so inclined. And I'll see you later.